All right, time to drop some Unity Blend Theory knowledge on you guys. So quick recap. Um, we covered some of this stuff before, but I'm going to go through it quickly again just to give you guys a, an idea and a reminder of what's happening here. Remember that vert, our, our meshes can be vert painted with four colors. You saw that in Blender when we looked at the attributes okay, of a mesh. You could see that primarily, you know, you could see the colors. They were the red, blue, green, and black. Okay, So those are the four colors that we can vert paint with. You saw them in Blender. And you saw them previously in another video here when I turned on, I said show vertex painting, and you could see those colors in Unity as well. Now, the red channel is the primary channel for most meshes. That means that when you build your meshes that the red channel is going end to end, it's gonna completely cover and fill in that mesh. Um, we can change that, but initially it's gonna be the red channel is the primary for most meshes. However, Blue is the inner, or you can say primary, or the most prominent color for water bases and bunkers. So I'm going to show you in a little bit why we had to do that. Now, you can vert paint in Blender, right? And we, I showed you that. There's some OPCD tools in there where you could um, do some uh, vert painting in Blender, but it's highly procedural, kind of predictable. Um, but in Unity, you can use brushes. Not doing that in this video. There'll be subsequent videos where I show you how to vert paint. Um, but just remember that is uh, a principle there. Blender is highly procedural for vert painting, and Unity can be somewhat more artistic. Blends, okay, are special meshes that take the material of one mesh, which we call the blend source material, and gradually changes it to the another mesh's material called the blend to material, right? So what does that look like? So up here, all right, and I... I didn't really do a good job of completing this, my thoughts in this slide, so I'll have to talk through this. Up here, this is a screen capture of three different parts or three different materials on a course. Over here, we have a fairway. In the middle, we have a semi. And on the right, we have rough. And then we have two blends, all right? We have this blend, which connects fairway to semi. And we've got this blend, which con uh, connects semi to rough. And now underneath here, I turned on vert painting for all five of these. There's five different meshes here. Fairway, this blend, semi, this blend, which is a separate mesh, and rough. So I turn on vert painting, and this is what it looks like. So our fairway, its primary color, end to end is red. Semi, end to end is red, and rough, end to end is red, okay? Now, this blend that you see here, which blends the material from fairway to semi, consists of two colors red and black the source material is fairway over here the destination or blend two material is semi over here so red of this blend represents fairway black of this blend represents semi okay this blend here the red of this blend now represents semi the black of this blend represents rough. So here's is really interesting, right? We have two blends, two separate blends, where one of them, the black of that blend, is the red channel of the semi. And the red of this blend, okay, is the red channel of this semi. So like I said earlier, this what these colors represent is locally significant to that mesh, and it's assigned to that mesh. So let me look at this a different way. So same thing, I just zoomed in a little bit more and I put some labels here. So on this blend, the red channel comes from the fairway material, which is here. This red channel here is the red channel of the fairway. The black channel of this blend is the red channel from the semi material. The red channel of this blend, okay, is the red channel from the semi material. And this black here in this blend is the red channel from the rough material. Hopefully that makes sense to you. Really important concept. So let's take a look at bunkers. And why are bunkers and, and lake or, uh, or lake bases different? Well, let's take a look at this bunker. And if you recall, all the way back in Inkscape, and also we talked about a little bit in Blender, we talked about bunkers and, and water bases the same. I'm not going to cover water bases, but it's the exact same principle is you have the main part of your bunker or water base. And for a bunker, that's sand, right? 
And for water bases, it's the water base or the mucky part of the bottom. And then we have what we call that inner blend, which is a part of the mesh. It's not a blend, it's not a separate mesh. It is a part, it's a different color. So for this bunker, the main part is sand, and then we have this blend here, and then we have rough. So what does this look like if I bring it up in vert painting? It looks like this. So we have blue, which is that sand, and then we have this area right here, which starts to turn green, and then it actually turns red. And then we have our blend, which goes from red to black, and then we have our rough, which is this red area here with this line. So let's zoom in on this just a little bit and explain to you what all these are. So, and why we have to have blue for the main channel of bunkers and water. Well, the main reason is because blends always go, the source is always red, and the destination is always black, okay? This, so, in here with this blend, so the blend is with my mouse right here, and just the, this little piece right here is actually still a part of the bunker material. I know it's hard to see, but you got to trust me that the very outside of the bunker material is actually the red channel. So the outside of the bunker, the red channel of the bunker, maps to the red channel on this blend. Okay? The black part of this blend maps to the red channel of this area here, which is the rough. So the reason we had to do that is, if this wasn't red, the outside of this, if it was something else like blue, this wouldn't work. Because blends are always from the red channel of the source material to the red channel of the destination material, okay? In this case, it has to be the outside of this or this blend wouldn't work right. I know that's a hard concept to think of here, but um, that's it's not something you need to understand in order to build a course, but conceptually, the better you understand this, the more you'll understand blends in general when we get starting to configure them, okay? So that's it for this theory video, on to the next.